All right, next tool is our drop eyedrop tool, and it's such a simple thing that I won't spend a lot of time on it. But basically, let me collapse this so you can see it better. Right here are some color options, and this is the foreground, this is the background. Um, and typically you're going to be worrying about what's in the front. This one will click it back to black and white, and you can flip these colors also. But whatever you click with the eyedrop tool will become your foreground color. And it's nice if you're trying to match things. Um, what happens as you click on different colors is if we go into colors, um, you know, you can see specifically what color that is. You can document that color for later use. Um, and so it's kind of a nice color to have. If you click on here, you get the the different ways of figuring out what a color is. This is your hexadecimal number. And this is the easiest because you can just copy and paste one particular number. This is used for web design too. Whereas these ones, just hue, saturation, brightness, that's a bit tricky to have to, you know, keep track of all three of those. RGBs, again, you've got three, so it's not it's not as easy to copy and paste those. Um, so when I have a color that I like, I just use the hexadecimal number, and I, I honestly just I just keep it in a little notepad off to the side, um, just you know, open up my notes or whatever, and keep it there. So these are some things to have. You can also add it to your swatches and you know, name it whatever color you, you are naming it. So, and then if we go over and look at your swatches later, these are all color related. Um, you can see that that color is down here. And, and also all the colors that I chose before are up here. Um, they're not kept for long. As you click more, you can see that they kind of go away. Um, but this one remains because that one's actually added to your swatches. So I'll choose another color here. Go ahead and double click that, add to swatches, and then, um, oops, I named it funny, but there you go. Uh, okay, so that's what the eyedropper does. And that's, I, I, we're not going to be covering any of these items within our class. So I'm not going to worry about those ones right now.